When you climb in Gavia, you aren't just facing big slopes, altitude, and a very long climb. You're also fighting against the weather. That's one of the main obstacles of Gavia. Welcome to the roof of the Giro d'Italia. Welcome to Paso Gabbia. Yes, guys, like they say here in Italy, ciao, ciao ragazzi. We are in Ponte di Legno, the town that there's in the bottom of Paso Gavia. It's a town located in Lombardia, a very, a very cycling area around this town. Apart from Gavia, we've got all the monsters of the Giro d'Italia, like Paso Mortirolo or Paso, Paso Stelvio, everything very close from here. But today we're going to focus on Paso, Paso Gavia, because right now we are Ponte di Legno, 1300 meters. And in 16 Ks, we're going to reach the 20. 2600 meters so we're talking about a massive climb 16.5 kilometers at 8% average gradient After a few k's climbing, in this point everything changed, starts the romanticism about uh, Gavia, narrower road, steeper and also there's a lot of uh, switchbacks, twisty roads from here till, till the top. And many people maybe they can think that, okay, maybe that's because till this point it's the new road and from here to the top starts the old road. That's wrong because Gavia was built uh, from the bottom to the top at the same time. First time it was introduced in the Giro d'Italia was back in 1960, but it was a gravel road. The beginning at the 60s, this road completely with gravel. Then uh, 20 years later, they just uh, put tarmac on the on the switchbacks. And finally in 2000, they put asphalt from the bottom to the top. Despite being one of the most famous climbs of Italy, Gabbia has just made six appearances in the Giro. Gabia seems paradise with the lakes and the mesmerizing landscape, but is the perfect example of a wolf in sheep's clothing. The 2600 meters of altitude makes Gabia a dangerous ambush when the temperature drops. Then heaven becomes hell. The Giro 1988 experienced the dark side of Gabia. Giareso infernale dalla tormenta e poi lungo la gelida discesa giù a bordo. Vincenzo Torriani was the director of the race and didn't suspend a stage, never should have been raced. It was already snowing in the first slopes of Gabia and cyclists were already freezing on the way up. Guess what happened in the way down? Some cyclists didn't make it. Some others had to stop and get in the team's car to warm their body up. Even Pedro Delgado said he thought he had taken the wrong way at the first part of the downhill. He was seeing cyclists riding on the opposite direction while he was descending. Then he realized there were cyclists freezing and the only option was to climb back a little bit to warm their bodies up to then carry on the downhill. We almost reaching the 2000 meters of altitude and we we still riding through through the forest but once we break the 2000 meters of altitude the trees and the vegetation starts disappearing and it starts a balcony because this climb is a balcony you go all the time climbing next to the cliff and you see how much you're climbing compared with the mountain that there's in front of you with an amazing landscape all the time of this valley I've been driving this train 
is in this lane There's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say Welcome to the dark side. We are three guys from the top of Paso Gavia and he is where he said the tunnel. It's a long tunnel and he's famous for his darkness because it's not dark, it's very dark. When you are in the halfway of, of the tunnel, you don't see anything and, and it seems that you're not gonna get out from, from this uh, tunnel. The tunnel was built around 40 years ago and the reason why they made it is quite, is quite sad. It was built after a traffic accident where uh, a bus from, from the army crashed in the old road that there was here before the tunnel. So here is the entrance of the tunnel and just right over there is the old road that used to be here before the tunnel was, was built. So 50, 60 years ago, the cars, the cyclists, they were using this road, but it's very dangerous. It's just next to the cliff. And in 1954, a bus from the army was trying to make the summit of Gavia. They were climbing to this narrow uh, road next to the, the cliff and they crashed and the 20 people that were in that bus, they all lost their lives. And that's the top of Gavia at 2,652 meters of altitude. After 16.5 k's of climbing, we made a top. This is the site from, from Ponte, di, Ponte di, di Legno, the one we've done. And this one, it'd be the site from Bormio. It's a little bit longer, 20 something k's, but the gradient is more gentle. So the tough one, I think, is the one we, we've done. This is the famous one, and also, in my point of view, the most beautiful one. And once you get here in the top, you are exhausted for sure, but you've got a nice place for recovering. Have a look on that pub, Refugio Bonetta. It's a pub that it's been run by the family Bonetta since the 50s. So you can drink here a nice hot chocolate, or a nice coffee, and also there's some pastries and, and nice, yeah, sweet things to, to eat after a long effort climbing Gavia. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you climbing more crazy climbs.